Hey critters, welcome back for another edition of um, Crafts and Critters. Um, so I was going to be um, taking a break here from the scrapbooking and I'm going to be making two different items for um, my mommy's for Mother's Day. So the first one is um, going to be taking this bowl. Um, my mom gave me this bowl that she was given um, by um, her sister. So. I'm going to take it and first of all we're going to heighten it up and I've got this that I've got at the Dollar Tree so we're going to heighten it and put it on a stand and it just so happens it fits perfectly and we're going to build a scene in here so that's the first part and then after that this entire bowl is going to become a butterfly garden so um, I'm going to set the bowl aside and to start out with, a um, couple of things we're going to need. Um, I went to um, Hobby Lobby and I found um, this little bird, uh, water fountain, bird fountain. And, and this is from the uh, My Garden Friends series. So, let's see here. There we go. So, um... That's the first part, and then from the same series, I found these little package of um, their little mushrooms. So we're going to use probably one or two of these. <clears throat> I also had um, these stones on hand. I believe I also got these at Hobby Lobby some time ago, um, and I picked up from the Dollar Tree a bag of the green moss. So we're going to use a little bit out of this green moss bag, and. From, also from Hobby Lobby, I went into the miniature section, so that's where like all the, you know, if you're building a house and you're using miniatures, and I found these. Um, the My Garden Friends series didn't really have something small enough, so we are going to use the Cardinal right here out of this pack, and then we'll just put it aside the rest. Um, so that's what we're going to need to start out with, of course. Um, glue gun is probably going to be on the list as well, So, which I've already got heating up over here on the side. So I think the first thing we're going to do is start out with some of these rocks. These rocks here. And I am going to be drizzling some hot glue on the bottom because I want some of these rocks to just kind of stick into place and not really move around. And we're going to add some more glue. I just don't want anything to really move at all, so so right now it's kind of moving, so we're going to fix that. Just pushing down the glue as opposed to... This will give us a, a nice base to kind of add some moss to. So we're going to add a little bit of actually. I'll add a little bit of moss. Let me get the moss down here. Make sure you're taking care of your little uh, glue strands that come off. And we don't want a whole lot. And we are going to kind of glue some down as well. That's too much. That was 
it's hot. Put one more over there and then we're gonna put the the fountain in. Or not the fountain, the bird bath. I guess it's a bird bath. So we're gonna put that in. Alright. There's that. So we get the bird bath. And we are gonna do um, I've got some all-purpose adhesive here. This, um, you can actually get this at the Dollar Tree. As long as I get the, get the cap off of it. Hold on, I might need a little leverage. If not, I got some E6000 over here, too. Alright, I do. That's fine. This will work. Oh. We're going to do a two-part... Uh, we're gonna do a little glue. Oh no! That was my camera that just got into the glue. And so I'm actually holding up my camera right now. Come on. There we go. Lopsided. It's not how I had envisioned. Just kind of crushing it into the rocks a little bit. You know what? I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to stick some more adhesive. Now this will take a while for um, the on adhesive to dry, so that's why I'm using the glue gun too. All right, and we're just holding that in place. There, you guys can see it a little bit better now. Okay, and we're gonna get our bird. Actually, hold on, let's get a, I wanna put one of these little mushrooms in there. And I'll just put the rest aside for another project. Right, I'll put that one. sticking but that's not sticking to that there we go now that'll really stick oh, that's so cute I wish my camera would cooperate with me today there we go all right I'm gonna get the bird on now. Uh, hold on. I'm having trouble opening the package here. Right. So here's your bird. Alright. Uh, oh no, get back here. We don't want you way down there. We want you right. We want you to perch. Right, hold him until he dries. So cute. Because once I attach the bowl, 
We're never going to be able to go back in here and fix this. So I'm going to pause this um, and let it set and harden um, and make sure it's not going to go anywhere before we do um, the next step. So um, I will be back. Hey critters. Okay. So I have um, this jar. I cleaned up all the glue and everything and I've just got it set aside and drying and I want that to really harden up before we actually attach the bowl to it. So while we're doing that, um, we're going to go ahead and continue with the next part which is the bowl. So what I got from Hobby Lobby is one of these domes. Um, so they're just the big styrofoam, whoops, styrofoam bone dome and it's big, but our bowl is big, so um, we are going to do that. In fact, um, I think for this project, I'm, we're going to have to move my camera angle. So I'm going to be right back here after I adjust my camera. Okay, critters, I like, got the camera angle adjusted here, so we are going to uh, rip this off here. Need some scissors, that'd be better. Alright, we're gonna take the plastic off of our dome, which I should have just done already off camera, but sometimes things don't work out. Alright, so there's a dome that's gonna go in the bowl. I am not going to attach it to the um to the bowl. Um we're just get I want it to where it can be lifted out so if it ever um you know, we ever change it for se different seasons or what have you, um, we can work that out. Now, my mom's favorite color is blue, um, so there's going to be a lot of blue flowers in this. Um, so I picked these ones up from the, um, these are petunias, they came from the Dollar Tree. So we are going to be um, probably using these. And... I have um, these ones also from the Dollar Tree, these daisies. They got some blue and purple in them. Um, oh, there goes that camera again. Why can I not get this straightened out here today? There we go. I keep losing my camera. Um, let's see, what else can we put in here? I have some yellow. That would go nice with the blue. These purple cattails would go nice because it's got some purple in the daisies. And then these are um, zinnias. So these yellow zinnias would be very nice. And let's see if I can find something else with a little bit, maybe something with some white. I don't know if I have anything like that or not. Um, I have, I have this yellow. That would be nice. Um, I don't know. Maybe not that one. Let's see. We've got some orange. I've got, you know, I've got some white roses here. This is a red, white, and blue roses. Those came, most of my flowers came from the, here's some orange zinnias. We might use a couple of those. We might use the white, I think we, we've got the blue and the white roses here. We might use those. And we got some carnations here too. So I think all of that um, look good. And 
we'll start there and we'll see what else happens. So, um, I definitely like the idea of the cattails. So I think we're going to start with that first. So I'm going to clip this off. And I'm going to adjust the grass on these. Right, I'm going to clip off all of the, and clip these off. Just gonna start with kind of planting stuff in and see what happens. I only do a couple of these. Just kind of plant them in for the height. They're cute. I like these ones. I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree before. And they only had this one. They didn't have it in any other colors, just this purple, and it was the only one. I think the three is good. I'm going to save the rest of these in case we need to go back. Alright, and then let's start with, um, let's start with our petunias. Totally ripped that one off. Alright, that's fine. It got the tag off easier. And you can put that back on. I hope. Yeah, there we go. Alright. <clears throat> and I really have no, like, we're just planting stuff in, so. We'll plant it until it gets full, and then we're going to add butterflies. Let's go with something a little darker, which is going to be our daisies. And this had the purple in it. Daisy, that's pretty. That's showing up awesome on camera, too. This will be a lovely centerpiece on a table by the time we're done. And can be changed with different seasons. going to go in with um, the yellow zinnias next. And I'm actually going to cut these shorter so that they're kind of underneath the blues. Let's 
so kind of like that. And we're going to do that all the way around here. So this will help us fill in like um, the different gaps and spaces. Um, it'll also mean too that the the blue is kind of like the uh, primary color that you're going to see popping out, um, which is another thing that we want. some more flowers. It's just going to take a lot of flowers. Let's go with the orange. And this is the orange zinnias and we're going to cut these ones short too. So the zinnias will be more like coverage in the holes, then they will be the star of the show. Bring the bucket of flowers over and see what we can find. Ooh, I like you that. Hamsies? Hamsies? That's filler. Uh, you know, no, I don't think I want that. These cute balls. Um, here's the yellow ones. God, let's see. <clears throat> I've got these here. This came from East. This was in the Easter stuff. So this was an Easter bouquet, but that's kind of nice. It's kind of shiny though, maybe a little too much shine. All right, let's put the uh, let's put these pansies in. And we'll cut these more of like a medium height, so they won't be completely under, but not completely over. <laughs> oh yeah, those are nice. Okay, let's see what else. Where else can we stick one? Right in there. Really big spot to fill in here. 
And got a spot to fill in there too, so let's do that. Just kind of filling in where I'm seeing gaps everywhere right now. Still seeing a lot of gaps and everything. This is really turning out nice. I like this. Alright, um, need a little bit more of something. So, I have, this was supposed to be a butterfly garden. So, I have these little butterfly flowers. They're so cute. Oh, and I have them in blue, too. All right. They won't cover very well, though. Maybe those aren't the right thing for this. I've got... These are too big. Are orchids? Let's put the orchids in. And that might actually then do it. Alright, I'm gonna put my bucket back. I've got like several of these buckets full of flowers. My other one's got um, but not, but nothing in it that'll work for this one. Um, so let's put these orchids in. Which will then probably help fill the space. Uh, There's space there. And well, we got a lot of spaces over here. So I'm probably going to use the blue roses um, as soon as I get these in. And that'll be to cover up the last of the empty spaces. go back to our bird bath and see if uh, all that has dried. some of this yellow that's right in here. There we go. Alright, I got a couple more bare spots, um, but nothing too, too bad. Let's see. There's definitely a bare spot, a big one right here. So let's take one of those blue roses and Get that in there. And I'm cutting it short because I want to kind of bury it a little bit. The color is not as um, vibrant. Oh, this is kind of weird. A piece of plastic that's sticking out of it that shouldn't be there. There we go. See, that's kind of buried in there. But it's still there, and I think we can bury another one right here. We got another bare spot right here. So go ahead and there we 
There we go. That's great. Alright, let's go with the blue carnation. through that one. Alright. And I put a bare spot right in here. So we're gonna squeeze that in. And let's see. There's another bare spot right down under. It's kind of like under here, but you can kind of like see too much of the foam. So we're gonna go in with that. I think that's going to be our last one. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, this one's a little too tall. I'm going to trim something off on this one and stick it right back in the same spot. Perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. Alright, let's put these aside. And... <sighs> butterflies. So, these I got from the Dollar Tree. And these are blue, and they have some burlap on them. So we're going to use one of these. And they got little clips on it, so that's going to make it really easy to kind of like clip in. And we're going to adjust the wings out. There is a little bit of a wire to these, so you can bend and adjust the wings. And that's kind of what we're doing here, so that they're not just like flat, they have more of a little life to them. Alright, I also found these ones at uh, where did I get these? Again, all oh, part of my garden friends. So this was from um, Hobby Lobby. Right. And this one's on a stem. So we can kind of put this one up where it's kind of like gravitating out and flying away. Like so. Alright. Um, we can use the yellow one too. And again, the wings are. Um, I'm going to show you here in a second with the yellow one. So the wings have like this little wire, so you can bend and manipulate the wing however you like to give it that dimension like it's actually kind of fluttering so instead of now being flat it's a little bit more curvy and we're going to find a little home for him I'm not going to use the pink one, so um, the pink one will just get set aside. Um, let's see what else I have. I have um, these butterflies that we can use, and these ones also came from Dollar Tree. Um, these ones here um, I got at Dollar Tree as well, but they really are, don't, are not part of the color scheme, so. Um, I think I'm going to set those aside. <clears throat> I'm use at the Dollar Tree too, but um, I don't think we're going to use those either. So I think we will use one of these butterflies. And I think then I'm going to use the second burlap one. And 
got um, these ones are on a wire, so not a clip. Oh, oh, that's sad. Part of his wing just came apart here. So part of his wing here just came apart. I'm gonna try to stick that back on. Uh, hold on, let me see how they hit it. Oh, it needs to be hot glued on. I still have my hot glue gun going, so we're, we're good to fix this right away. A spot for this guy. Um, I'm gonna plant him on a flower somehow. Okay, just kind of laid him flat. I'm going to take the other burlap one and we're going to flex out his uh, wings a little bit and give him a little life. There we go. And I'm going to actually just really, I'm going to attach him just straight up, kind of, I think, to the bowl if I can. But I can't. Or no, I guess I did. But uh, he needs to go in a different spot because he can't go by the same burlap. Actually, I think he can go attached to this flower here. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm going to take this other burlap, this other butterfly. This is our last butterfly that's going in. Oh, and I got a fix on this one too. This gem in the middle, the center gem came off just so I was taking it off the packaging. Let's see if I can rip the packaging off of here. It's attached very well. All right. So the center gem came off this one instead of the I'm always loosen my glue sticks in this with this glue gun. There we go. And just a little bit of glue. We stick that gem right back on. Alright. And we're gonna go right in here. And he's just gonna kinda kinda hide in there. Just like that. So there's our flower bowl. So, um, and I don't know if this is dry yet. So, oh, there's a little glue here that I gotta get off. There we go. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, it's not, it's not budging. It's not moving anywhere. There's a couple rocks that are moving, but not too bad. So, this is going to go on like this, and this is going to go on like that. We have our little, that's a little hard to see. I'm trying to adjust a light here so we can see down below. Oh, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to take the flowers out here and we are going to do flip full over. And 
I just want to make sure it, um, it wasn't going to go anywhere. All right. So we're going to need, I'm going to grab um, that all-purpose adhesive again, which is, um, it's just the Dollar Tree version of an E6000. It is the same. It actually works really well. Um, I do happen to have E6000 on hand too, but uh, and we're putting a good amount all on the edge and this will need to um, dry overnight Oops. okay I'm just kind of holding it a little bit yeah there's gonna be a couple of rocks and some moss that'll fall but um overall when you flip it back it'll be fine just got a little glue on my hand right. just adding a couple more glue spots here on areas where I think it's a little bit thin. There we go. Alright, so we're going to let that dry overnight and then we're going to come and flip the bowl back over in the morning and put the flowers back in it and I'll take my phone up to final post uh, pictures and, um, and then I'll post this. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on um, fixing up a flower bowl, I guess. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not good. We might have to flip it over now. Oh, there goes. Oh. All right. Hold on. We cannot leave that overnight like that. Wow, okay. The whole thing, glass shifted and everything. Um, I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to fix this and I'll come back in the morning and this will all be okay. Thank you for watching.